in Rome, do as the Romans, when in New York, you eat a street dog. At a Kanish. We need to find somewhere to eat, kind of like a late lunch, early dinner. Tad steaks, perhaps? There's a protest going on. There is no plan B. We're protesting for climate change. see people with plastic cups and plastic straws marching in the crowd wearing leather belts. I see a lot of iPhones in the crowd as well. As you know the glass and crystal for the iPhone. One of the most toxic things for our environment. Look at this march and use your phone. Heading into Times Square, Juniors. This is when you come to New York you only get the most authentic New York pizza. This guy has a pet rat on his shoulder. Right. Oh. He just wanted, he's sleeping wow. right now. He like sleeps a lot during the day. He doesn't need a leash. No, he just kind of... He doesn't try to escape. <laughs> Christmas in New York, year round. This is the M&M store. This is a very quiet protest. But we're following them down into Times Square. And as we walk into Times Square, the first thing that you can see that jumps out at you is right up here. That's the ball that drops every New Year's Eve. You see 2019, it's up there. And as of the time of this recording, just about six more months, and we'll have 2020. This is still kind of the new Times Square. It's very odd to me to see like tables and chairs and things like that out here, and even down further, and the road is closed off. That's only post 9-11. It used to be all open for traffic flowing. So across the street here at this TKTS booth, if you're not from New York, you wouldn't know, but this is generally where discounted tickets are available day of show for Broadway shows. And you can see what tickets are available for today. Beetlejuice, 8 o'clock. That's the show that we're going to later. It's actually on sale considerably cheaper than what we paid. $63 to $88. Jersey Boys is out there. Oh, and then Off-Broadway, they have The Office, a musical parody. That looks awesome. The King Kong play is up there as well. We have a ride along, McDonald's. Tons of electronic billboards. The good viewing location of the steps in Times Square is actually blocked by this Sephora pop-up ad. A slide into a ball pit. There's a George M. Cohen statue. If you ever wonder what Times Square is named after, New York Times is based in this area. And they have since moved on. And now, it's a very much homogenized version of Times Square. So Times, Times Square widely regarded as kind of the center of New York. We're gonna make our way over to eat, maybe up at Carmine's. You can see this giant Statue of Liberty behind me and this bootleg, mi this bootleg Minnie Mouse. We're moving against the red hand. I like these signs here, like pedestrian zone, pedestrian flow zone. You can see over here in the distance, Times Square is home to many bootleg type characters. They'll hound you to take a picture and once you take a picture, there's the actual naked cowboy over there too. But once you take a picture with them, they'll demand money from you. This area is often likened to Hollywood Boulevard in California, although I'd say this area is much, much, much more tourist friendly. Still edgy, but much more tourist friendly. We've made our way down further. Outside the recruitment area over here, a big inflatable soldier. Outside of Carmine's Italian. I think it's 43rd Street, probably. Get some early dinner, late lunch here. This is inside Carmine's. It's all family style. We got some focaccia bread. Looks like some soda bread. Mary got an espresso martini. Penny a la vodka, some veal parm. Mm, 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 that's what I'm talking about. How did you enjoy your Carmine's experience? I had a Carmine stuffed back 
walking towards 42nd Street. This Hard Rock used to be the WWF New York. When Chris Angel was first starting, they used to see him perform here for free. They would barker outside for people to visit. Looking down 42nd Street, Madame Tussauds is over down this way, as well as Ripley's. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, right over here. Turn this way. And we're gonna head down 42nd Street, past the Times Square subway station. Look at these ads for Godzilla, by the way. Godzilla, Mothra, Ghidorah, Rodan. There's literally two Spider-Men over here, and two Iron Man. The, the Spider-Men can point at each other like the meme. Walking down 42nd Street, towards 5th Avenue. We're coming down over by Bryant Park. It's where Fashion Week is held. Well, at least it was, in case I get that wrong and it's not here anymore. Bryant Park, tons of people here today. Our next destination is right here on the corner, 42nd and 5th. We are gonna make a turn on 5th Avenue. And here we are, the New York Public Library made famous by a little independent film called Ghostbusters. We're gonna go in the library. We're going to the Mid-Manhattan Library. There's multiple levels to the library, so we came in on the ground level. On the first floor, we have a gallery. Second floor is another gallery. And the third floor, the public catalog room. Jess and my niece are obsessed with old school public telephones. You just don't see them anymore. Stonewall 50. The Bird Collection. public catalog room. second floor, we get a perspective of what the front of the library looks like from the inside. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these displays, but they do a great job of telling the story of the library and the purpose that it serves. This is a pretty interesting fountain. We're going to head towards the exit of the library. This is the entranceway. You can come through the Fifth Avenue entrance. Pigeons. Spread disease, destroy flower beds, leave leftovers for rats. Please do not feed them. Alright, we're gonna continue walking down 42nd Street. 
towards Grand Central, outside of Net Sherman, which used to be over that way on 42nd and 5th. Now it's up a little further. We still have Cigar Store Indians. Big building up in the distance there. It looks like the Empire State Building is actually the Chrysler Building. If you remember in the first Avengers movie, the Chaturi did some damage to that building. Now we're approaching Madison Avenue. You can see Grand Central Terminal over there in the distance. And you'll see cars can traverse this bridge to get around Grand Central Terminal. Grand Central Terminal is an amazing building loaded with people watching. I'm gonna head in the doors in the corner here. We're heading in. Main concourse is off to the right. Dining concourse. And this way to the main concourse. We're walking in. If you guys saw the last John Wick, John Wick 3, that's just out in theaters. It's a pretty awesome scene that's filmed right in here. And here, Metro North. Times are displayed, status, with the flag. And you can see constellations up on the roof. There's an Apple store up there. With this very famous clock. Here's the view from one of the overhangs directly across is the Apple store. So the incredible thing is that for as many people that are here right now and just continually coming through, this is 20 to 6 on a Friday on a holiday weekend when most of the population that goes through here is already long gone. We're back up in Times Square. We're gonna go check out the Hershey store. Free chocolate, what, what? Whoa, a five pound Hershey bar. Oh my goodness, you can make a plush s'more. It needs another... <laughs> There's s'more scented candles too. S'more hats, s'more shirts, s'mores mugs, s'more socks. All kinds of Jolly Rancher stuff. Look at this, Jolly Rancher like bath bombs. Oh my goodness. Thin peanut butter cups. Mm -mm -mm. If you guys have watched our channel for a while, you know, we keep a good stash of these. Hershey's Kisses, New York City. Oh, that's fun. Oh, New York City merch. Color changing mugs. Whoa. You could candy personalized also. Look at that. Beautiful. Congratulations. This is Mary's favorite. Almond Joy, and I love Take 5. I also love Paydays. Precious Kisses. Drops. World's largest display. Twizzlers. Peanut Butter Cups, or Peanut Butter Cups of Pieces. Kisses. Two pounds of Kit Kats. Whoa, there's this s'mores counter here too for nine bucks. You can make it with all different types of Hershey's chocolates. Oh. I love New York. We're sitting at one of the tables. Just relaxing for a minute. There's a girl down here cosplaying as Mary Jane Parker. Or Mary Jane Watson, of course she's Parker. Wearing the shirt. It's pretty awesome. And back to Times Square. All right, we're gonna head over to the Disney store in Times Square for a minute. And I've got that ad for Aladdin playing right above the Disney store, but then it's right over here too, on a bigger screen. Let's check, 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 check it out. Mickey 90. Mickey New York mugs. Shirts. Jackets. Mini. Mini a Statue of Liberty. Spirit sweaters from New York. Look at that. I love New York. I like the ears with the I love New York. I like that shirt. Very cool. I don't know if they have a men's version of this. New York City. Oh, I dig it. I dig it. New York City fanny packs. 
with Mickey Mouse sweatshirts. Mickey with I Love New York as a shirt. And a different Mickey with Disney Store New York on the foot. Zoom zooms. It's a zipper sweat jacket with I Love New York. I like it. Venture in the store further. I like that design. This is part of the new rainbow collection for Disney. So cool. There's a whole plush area over here. Classic Tigger up top. And these little plush guys that you can clip anywhere. They're adorable. Whoa, look at the size of that Snow White. All right, we're told there's more magic upstairs. So we're gonna go up. Very cool. the theming. Peter Pan and the kids, Mary Poppins. Of course you got the lanterns from Tangled. Classic D. Wow. Whoa, look at this. That's awesome. Living my best Disney inspired life. There's so much stuff. Wow, look at that Toy Story Spirit Sweater. And they have this Buzz Lightyear one as well, with the front and the back. And all of the Marvel stuff. Wow. I actually wanted to buy this hat online. They have it in the store. Spider-Ham. Oh, they have the Ant-Man and the Wasp hats on clearance. 18 bucks. X-Con. Oh, look at this big Shuri doll. That's awesome. Goose Lucky Cat. They were sold out of these at Disney Springs in Orlando. Oh, big castle. Some Avengers shirts. Groots. A ton of Toy Story stuff. That is a giant talking Woody. This is terrifying. <laughs> you can make a horror movie out of that guy. Oh. Oh. Okay, dress. Like your favorite characters here. Got cool Star Wars stuff here too, like the back of this Adat. Turn around, this is the armored version. This giant First Order Trooper. Lightning McQueen. You can dress like Rey. Our final destination of the day. Winter Garden Theater for Beetlejuice. All right, all right, all right. I can't wait. Well, we were lined up on the wrong block. That was the back of the theater. And here's the front. This is who is in the play tonight. We're coming in. It's the stage. That's the bar. And that's the merch. So we just got done with Beetlejuice the musical. Did you like it? Did you like it? I thought it was really, really awesome. The songs were awesome. Oh my god, and the lead, she was just perfect. Lydia is amazing. 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 Yes, we did come around back to see if we can get our playbill signed. Look at Times Square all lit up. Right, we're back at the hotel after a freakishly long day. One o'clock in the morning now on Saturday. We ended up starting the day at about seven o'clock in the morning on Friday. I have no idea how I'm gonna split this video up. But thank you very much for being a part of it and coming along with us. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you wanna be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.